Yo guys, what is going on? Mr. Squinty409 here bringing you guys a Battlefield 3 gameplay commentary. And before I start doing anything, this is my first Battlefield 3 commentary, so if you guys are excited for that. And also, I do want to apologize for not uploading a video within two weeks. Uh, this was actually spring break for me, and I just wanted to relax and, you know, just chill out a little bit and just enjoy my spring break. So right here, you guys are probably saying, whoa, Battlefield 3 to your channel? Yes, guys, I'm bringing Battlefield 3 to my channel. I'm going to be bringing Battlefield 3 and TF2 and a little bit of Modern Warfare 3. And the reason why I said, eh, Modern Warfare 3, I'll be explaining that later. So rocking now the P90 with Suppressor. And this is probably one of my favorite guns in the game. Um, it's really, really nice. The fire rate on this gun is amazing. The, let's say the bullet the bullet count look at that on the bottom right 51 bullets to shoot that is just insane this is why the p90 is known for being so great the recoil is great and the sights and looking down aiming down the sights with even out the reflex is great and it just has a history of being probably the best weapons in the game it is probably like known as the badass of call of duty it's great in Call of Duty. It's great in Battlefield. It's great in probably the two top first-person shooters out there right now. The P90 is a great weapon. I highly suggest you try it out. Even with no attachments, the first time you use it, it's great. I used it with no attachments, and it was just insane. I love it. So, playing on Rush on Operation Metro, just running down this left side here, playing as a medic, because I do like playing aggressive. I do like doing the objective. I do like pushing with my teammates. I like being in front of the lines, not behind the lines. By that, see right here, just throwing out my health pack for my teammates to use. I think of the health pack as like, you know, a big dispenser in TF2. That heals you, but it doesn't give you ammo. It heals everyone around you. It's a big dispenser, and it's really, really great to use. I notice that when people play, they don't like throw out the med kit unless they need to. There's nothing wrong with throwing it out and shooting this guy right here in the ass crack with the P90. Oh my god, that has to hurt so bad. But right there has to hurt. And shoot, just reviving everyone. Guys, revive your buddies. Sorry, dude. I just sprayed and prayed all over your face. Oh, this gun is just amazing. Mm. So, I do want to talk about Battlefield 3 in particular. And how I love this game so much. Why do I love this game? Why do I really, really like to play it all the time? Why is it known as my top list of first-person shooters? This is on the top of the list, by the way. I look at this game as a teamwork-based game. It's really, really fun with your friends. Um, teamwork, by that, I mean, no, it doesn't take, like, one guy to go around and just kill everyone and win. It actually takes teamwork, effort, and a lot, a lot of communication to do so. But when you look at, at it here, people can basically communicate at each other by just pointing their gun, like swinging it left and around. And just, it's just insane. That's why I love this game so much, and I hope this game leads to success. And I died two times by this freaking guy. I mean, ugh, that just really, really pissed me off there. But this, ga this game, I, do, I don't really rage at it a lot, even though the only thing I really, really rage at is the USAS. The USAS is probably one of the most overpowered weapons in the game right now. But even though it's overpowered, Battlefield 3 is doing something about it. They are actually nerfing it. Battlefield 3 is coming out with a huge update. It's going to nerf the weapons, lower down the damage. Some even raise the damage. And it's going to lower... It's basically going to be a whole new game, new weapons. It's not really going to be new weapons. It's going to be the same weapons, but with different advantages and disadvantages. But one thing I do want to say... DICE has better not touch my freaking P90, because this is my gun, and it's fine for me. This gun is just amazing. It's balanced. I do like this gun a lot. So, when I do, you see right there, I'm just firing away. Fire and fire right there. I should have reloaded, but I had that 51 clip bonus. So, I just sprayed and pray. So, that is awesome. Reviving my little bros, or my brother from another mother, because they look black and I'm Asian, but who cares? They're my brother still. Right there, I made a, I make a big mistake for not looking before reviving. The first thing you need to do is look at them first, and then you start reviving. 
because that is the best thing to do when playing and I highly suggest you try it out see look first and then try to revive but you know I was gonna die anyway so I had to run back in the room sorry guys I tried to revive you guys and I ended up getting blown in the face by the support and he ends up dying anyway so who gives a fuck and let's just hop back on over to the P90 after I explain the updates the P90 the iron sight I just want to talk about the iron sight in particular and what sight to use and what you should use the reflex on it is is eh, it's a little bit icky and I tried the reflex I tried the Cobra oh excuse me but I always go back to the iron sights reason why is because the visual recoil on the reflex it makes it a little bit jumpy also with the Cobra same thing a little bit jumpy uh, for me it looks jumpy but for others it might not but for me it looks really really jumpy so I just move on to the iron sights the iron sights looks very very steady as you guys can see here and the tip of it is really really thin and sm small you know like my penis on I just said like my penis I'm just kidding but it's not dense and thick at the very tip oh my god everything I say is freaking perverted <laughs> but it's not like that but that is just how it is and I try not to be like that so I'm sorry if you guys are pretty pretty gross out but hopefully you guys are old enough to even watch this here and right here like one thing about Battlefield 3 like when I revive people sometimes if tell me if this happens to you guys feel free to comment sometimes when I revive them like it does not hit them at all like I, I'm really like fist pumping my defibs in their face like bam 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 and they still wouldn't get revived but I end up dying anyway risking my life for my teammates I will do that and I end up dying again but saving my life for the others is probably the best things that I do in this game it's a teamwork based game I would rather die and save someone because you never know I might have died say that okay so I'm 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 gonna revive someone if I didn't revive him and I try to go for the kill I might have died but and then the other way around if I did revive him I might have died and he might have killed him or if I revived him he we both might have died so it's really really depending on you know the situation it's really really hard to tell which situation should you revive or should you not if there's a fight that you cannot revive just don't go for it but I usually go for it anyways because I'm just that caring right here I'm so fat I can't even jump over a freaking fence that is just sad that was I was like oh my god I can't even jump over a damn fence this is just embarrassing so I'm just running through here killing this guy and going to bust through this window like a freaking ninja and plant the MCOM and just cover it as much as I can See, as they planned it on the other side, I rushed in and planted the bomb in the game quick. Because the reason why, at this very end point, everyone, once one is blown up and the other one is kept over, the defense will go to that one and cover that one with all their heart and their penis and their giant, you know, whatever. They will cover that like there's no tomorrow, reviving my bro. And before this gameplay comes to an end, guys, I thank you guys for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you wish. It really, really does help. And if you want to subscribe, I really, really do appreciate it. And I care for every single subscriber that I, that I get. So thank you guys for watching and peace out, guys.